YouTube, what's up? Gonna do another attempt here at Ubers with my level 89 assassin trap. Uh, I've swapped out some of the gear for my Merc. Going with a uh, Vamp Gaze for the 20% damage reduction. Chains of Honor for the All Res and 8 damage reduction. And Infinity and the Thresher. So that will give my Merc full res. I can always boost some of these with some potions. And then he's got physical damage re reduced by 28. And 14 life stolen per hit, which is combined from the helm and the armor. And 15 increased attack speed with the jewel that I have socketed in here. And it has some light res on it. So that'll help for... Uber Mephisto. So I was able to do the pre-Ubers last video. So I'm going to hopefully be able to do those again. And see if we can use Death Sentry, Corpse Explosion, in the final Tristram with uh, using the Skellies. The Skellies are not hard to deal with and if you can collect kind of collect them my thought is maybe i can get them all in the corner and then use death sentry corpse explosion to do some damage against mephisto that's the thought that's the theory we'll see so let's go for this I gotta open all the portals. Destruction. Got all the portals kind of full on pots, which is good. Let's just go to fridge and pre buff. Get a Shatter Master. Now, the plan is to use Lightning Sentry for the bosses, Bone Prison them in, and then. Uh, throw some bombs to kind of help with the damage. So let me just make sure that Bone Prison is mapped. I'll throw on Life Tap just in case I need it. Uh, let's see. We'll go Forgotten Sands. So again, get in there. Gonna Bone Prison him, and then Charge Bolt Sentry. Let's go and let head and life tap him. Oh, 
Almost dead. Alright, went pretty smooth. My Shadow Master died. Alright. So then the second one is... Furnace of Pain. I like to keep my Shadow Master just for sort of an extra meat shield. Not super necessary, though. All right, so kind of the same method. I'm actually going to just make sure that I have everything fully charged in case I need it. Afternoon. Those uh, bone prisons get expensive. So again, same method in here. I need to sort of isolate Izzy. Clearing all of this out so that there's nothing else to just sort of distract me. Death sentries for these. Got to make sure that Emilio stays alive. Izzy is probably in here. Again, I want to clear all this. Yeah. So, charge bolt sentry, and then bombs. Good. Amelia, stay alive. Shadow Master died. So both of those went pretty smooth. Let's just fill up. Got a bunch of rejuice I need. Now the toughest one, Lilith. I think, I think my Merc has enough damage reduction to hopefully keep him alive. Last time I did not need life tap. I just bone prison to keep him safe. 
and that worked. And then I just did uh, charge bolt sentry and a bunch of bombs and it worked out. So let's see. Free buff here. Get my Shadow Master back. And then Matron's Den. Again, Lilith is usually to the left. These guys hurt. Okay, amp damage is not great. We're going to kind of go slow to make sure that... Alright, so there's Lilith. Going to go home. Clear this curse. Now that we know that where she is. Get my Shadow Master back. Alright, again, I want to Bone Prisoner first. And then... Drop some bombs. Let's go. So that all went way smoother than last time. As I think Emilio barely even got touched. I didn't even... I was gonna get some antidote potions and stuff and give it to him, but forgot. Didn't need it. So there we got three organs. That's pretty good. So let's just review before we go into Tristram. I don't need any town portals for this. We'll go all rejuves. So last time when I did this, I realized that I Bone Prison didn't really help. Life Tap was somewhat helpful. Uh, but I just wasn't doing enough damage at all uh, with the Fire Bombs to do anything against Mephisto. So this time, I'm going to try and go in in super tanky form. Putting on T-Gods or... The 20 light absorb. I'm gonna throw on a Raven Frost for a cold absorb. And throw on a Dwarf Star for fire absorb. So I will have all those elements absorb. I will get some antidote. For the poison. Actually, I'm going to move these and make the portal first. So 
So let me make the portal here. So I can get some antidotes to help with cold, I mean, uh, poison resist. I'll give some to Emilio. Emilio, I'm going to actually, I'm going to swap out his weapon to obedience and a man catcher. Faster weapon. And because infinity is not doing any damage or not helping. Okay. So we're going to pick up some antidotes. Take these. I'm going to not fade Emilio and just hope that his damage reduction is alright. I can always life tap if I need to. But I will give him some antidotes as well. Oops. This is mainly just to help against the skellies. We'll see if he uh, dies. So we buff up here. Again, I'm not using fade or anything. Shadow Master's probably going to die. Zade has good damage reduction already. He's got good damage reduction, old lightning, and fire absorb for the skellies. I'm going to just try and pretty much tank. Where are those? Oh, yeah. I guess I could add some res charms, but I'm going to kind of go with it. Life is pretty high. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let me just make sure that all my skills are good. So I don't really need bow in prison. It's not that helpful. Life tap might be helpful. I might use life tap. Make sure they're all charged. Can I help you? All right. Here we go. So here's the idea. The idea is to go in, bring all the skellies to the top corner, just kind of teleport around until there's a bunch, and then do death sentry and see if the physical damage from all the the uh, corpse explosion can actually do any kind of damage versus Mephisto and see if I can stay alive. So let's see. Okay. Portal is botched. Well, got all the skellies to the corner. Why does that seem to always happen? That the portal is like... Never clean.
Okay. Like, what? That's not fair. Portal is completely botched. Okay. Now what do I do? I mean, the good news is that I was somewhat tanky. You know, like I'm able to teleport around. My shadow master is gonna die. Should I try and fade? Let's see if I can fade his aid. Before we go in. So let's see. Throw on a treachery. I'll put that to good use. That'll give him some extra damage reduction. Oh yeah, I could enchant him too. Actually, he's already being enchanted. Right? Doesn't this thing have enchant? Yeah, so I don't need to enchant him. I need him to get faded. Come on, Hazid. Apparently, he's too good to be faded. At least enchant is working pretty well. It's like enchanting him every single time. Is this place terrorized? Let me see if I go down... Get in there. Fade him up. There we go. Faded. Pre buff. All right, mm. plan. When I go in here, Bale's gonna be there. How am I gonna deal with that? Maybe I just try to do Bale first. Oops.
it's not going to work. So we're going to attempt to do bail first. So... Can put this back on and these on. Actually, where am I putting it on here? It's fine. Well, we'll see if we can do bail first. Doubtful, though. Uh, Emilio's ripped. Mephisto's over here. And Diablo. Great. Great. Get everybody up here. Well, there's a lot of potential corpses in there for corpse explosion, but it will not work. Got Diablo, Bale, and Mephisto all running around. Emilio being faded did not help whatsoever. Afternoon. Bale was right next to the portal. So again, I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage this. Again, unfortunate that I got such a bad portal. I wasn't able to go in and separate the Ubers. It was just as soon as I went in there, Bale and Mephisto on top of me. Super unlucky, and then teleporting around in there, Diablo came loose too. So I think this is kind of botched. But the pre-Ubers were pretty good, which was fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and, again, get another character to finish this off. And we'll try this again. So yeah, that's it.